Hi everyone, thank you for watching. Today we will be learning these takeouts or or whatever you really want to call them. So to start this trick, you are going to need to be able to do the reverse cascade, which is this pattern. If you can't already do this, then check out my tutorial on that. I'll link it below. Once you have this reverse cascade pattern down, let's just take one ball. If you can imagine the reverse cascade, the throw goes from this hand over the top all the way to this hand, and that's just how it goes in the reverse cascade. For this move, we're gonna throw into the center. So we're gonna go here instead of here. The reason this is, is because it's gonna come up, it's gonna go here, and this hand is gonna come to the center to grab it. It's gonna go over the top to the position where in the reverse cascade, it would have been caught. So as opposed to this, it's gonna be So just practice this in both hands, throw to the center, catch in the center, and then bring that hand over the top back to the normal position. Center here, center here, center here. Doesn't have to be bang on the center, doesn't make a massive difference if it's here or here or wherever it is, you're gonna grab it, you're gonna go round, back to normal position, okay? When you're comfortable with that, let's take two balls. So just remind ourselves of a normal reverse cascade pattern with the two balls. It's like this, fairly easy. Now we're gonna concentrate on the second ball, and that's the ball that we're going to grab in the center and take over the top as we just did with one. So this is normal, like that. Now the second ball is gonna come down to the center. So there, there, grab it in the center, round, back to normal. Try that with both hands. There, there, center, grab, round. So if you're comfortable doing that with the second ball, we're gonna switch it around this time, we're gonna do it with the first ball. The second ball can just be a normal throw. Don't worry about grabbing it and going around just yet. To do it with that first ball, what we're gonna to have to do is release the second ball before we bring our hand to the center. So right now, it might feel quite quick. You're gonna to have to throw the first ball to the center, throw the second ball, and then grab the first ball, bring it back round. First ball, center, second ball, over the top. So you might notice that it sort of looks like the first ball is getting taken up and around the second ball, which is the visual that we all know and love about this trick. If it feels like you're doing that, then well done, you're on the right path. So let's keep trying that with the first ball for now. So normal, other side. When you're comfortable with that, Let's put both of them together. We're gonna to take out the first ball and take out the second ball, simply. You might notice it's quite easy with the second ball because you can pretty much catch it wherever and still make that motion with the arm. Um, so yeah, don't worry if it's not hitting directly in the middle and you're going, catching it over here and still doing it. It's all about getting the motion into your head and into your body. So when you're ready, let's take it to the three balls. Start out with a normal reverse cascade. And from here, we're simply gonna do step two of the exercise, but now we've got three balls. So you're gonna take the first one out, catch the second. Take, catch, easy. Take, catch. Try it from both hands, reverse cascade. Take, catch. Take, catch. Now let's do two takeouts. Normal cascade, take, take, catch, take, take, catch, take, take, catch. So see if you can guess what the next step is. It's gonna be with three balls. So normal verse cascade, and go this time, one, two, three. Done the little last throw to finish it off. 
then all you have to do is simply build up one takeout at a time. I remember it took me an hour to just get my head around what was going on. So don't expect this trick to come immediately, but it will begin to click, I hope, around the hour mark. Um, and I think these prerequisites could make it go a little bit quicker for you, but I would love to know if it's been useful the way that I broke it down here, um, if it helped you learn the trick. Please let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel, do a lot of tutorials, and other circus videos. Also, really happy to take requests. If you have any tutorial requests you want me to cover, I'd love to do it. Thanks for watching, have a lovely day, and enjoy juggling.